part of this, this computer. There we go. Okay. And we're off and running. I got this, you know, I, I this is the easiest thing I have to do because all I have to do is get a few things going here and and we're fine. Yeah. Hi, everybody. It's Alex. It's our little pop-up show that we do on uh, Monday with a whole bunch of really nice people, not just um, hostile people, but nice people who talk nicely to each other. And let me admit them now and get them on here. There's Rick Sheckman, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Boddicker is here. Charlene is here. Um, oh, hey, Edward Berger, Charlie Walsh. That's right. Scott Boddicker, as I live in, in and absolutely breathe, it's Scott Boddicker. Hey, Scott, how you doing? Good. Where are you? Are you uh, in the, in the, uh, Texas? Yeah, you're in Texas. Okay, you're in the home of of uh, Snapple. Is where you are. <laughs> uh, that's uh, uh, Plano, Texas. Yeah. Plano, Texas. Yep. Yeah, and is Snapple just down the road from you? That's actually pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So within four and, miles, I mean, that's close. Charlie seems to get a kick out of that, right? Yeah, well, I love Snapple. I used to drink it almost exclusively over anything else, and then I, the diet Snapple, and then I went to uh, the the uh, what do you call it to the. Um, uh, to the, the sparkling water, this ice stuff. It's just, you know, it's seltzer basically with a flavor. And so my I'm wife gonna... likes those, yeah. Huh? My wife likes those, yeah. We get them yeah. at uh, Costco. Yeah. They're really good. They're yeah. really good. Yeah, they don't sell these at Costco lately, though. For oh. some reason, Costco suddenly decides one day they're not going to carry something. They get you hooked on it and then they quit carrying And then they, they yeah, then they leave town. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, uh, th uh, what did I have that uh, I did for a while? And man, they just canceled it. Uh, oh, yeah. They had uh, the, uh, 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 what do you call it? Bacon, the hardwood. What's it called? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Applewood. Applewood bacon. And it was terrific. Okay. Yeah. Nice, thick slices. It was a thick slice mm. bacon. And I go on there and they've done away with it, you know. They just get rid of it. So, uh, and what do they replace it with? Kirkland, their house brand. Now, usually when they stop a brand like that, okay, like the the Applewood, uh, when they have the Applewood and they start the Kirkland, they still keep the Applewood. Um, so that, you know, if you if you, if you see Kirkland tuna next to it is Starkist, all right? So they give you that choice. They took took the choice away from me, damn it. So, uh, you know, that's my way of griping. So how are all of you? Any of you done anything interesting lately? No? no? Yeah. My wife and I watched the Avatar, Alex. Oh, let's not even go there. <laughs> What's wrong with Avatar? <laughs> Three uh, hours plus. I, I've got to say that we walked out on it. Did you? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No. At, at the two hour mark, we just said, this is not going anywhere. <laughs> and really, no. I was talking to my movie guy, Michael Snyder, and he said that he agreed with that premise that the first 90 minutes of that film is god awful. <laughs> uh, and then it, it has a, it has a great action ending. OK. But I'm sorry, if you're going to spend two hours doing nothing. And also, look, you spent almost 100 bucks probably going. Oh, about, about $85. Yeah, to go yeah. To get the popcorn and, uh, you know, whatever. And on top of that, I'll tell you, I came away very depressed for two reasons. Number one, I didn't want to walk out on the movie. I was looking forward to it. But it was just uh, so <laughs> god awful that I couldn't stay there. And neither could Marjorie. Marjorie wanted to get out earlier than I did. I stayed. We stayed for two hours of the three hours. Um, film didn't need to be that long. Secondly, what I noticed was how pathetic movie theaters are these days. Uh, this one that I went to, which we've been going through for a long time, is just it's just 
it's it's grim. Wouldn't you de describe it that way, Marjorie? It's dirty. There are rips in the seats. Yeah, in the luxury seats, you the know, those, those, those reclining seats. Want to go back. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're falling apart. I mean, it, it's just as one of the most depressing experiences I've had in a movie theater that I can recall. Plus, as I say, you know, I don't know what happens in the rest of the movie. I'll see it on Disney+. Plus. The reason I wanted to go to the theater was for the 3D, and Cameron usually respects 3D. The 3D sucks. Nothing there. Wow, I it really like the 3D. It's a, I thought it's the 3D a, was incredible. No, it's almost flat. It's oh, almost flat. From the I, original Avatar. I was looking to make sure they were projecting it in 3D because I, one time at that theater... They started a movie that was supposed to be in 3D, and it wasn't in 3D. And people all had their glasses on thinking they were watching 3D. <laughs> I knew we weren't. So I went down to complain to the guy, and he said, well, let me go up there. And I said, well, look at the screen. He said, well, I have the glasses on. It, I can see a picture. I said, wait a minute. It's playing in the theater next to us. Okay? He says, okay. So we walked into the theater next to that. And I said, put on your glasses now. He says, oh, this is in 3D. <laughs> there's a problem with the other showing uh i said well what are you going to do it's just too late to, to roll it back they can't roll it back once it starts uh and um which i kind of disagree with because it's all on a hard drive now anyway you know but they didn't they didn't want to back it up so uh you know um uh, but but this thing i took my glasses off to make sure you know that it was in 3D and I saw the double images and it was in 3D. And I just said, it's so undramatic. I'll tell you where I'm, maybe I'm a little jaded, okay, is lately I've been playing some, I've got a PS5 and I've been playing the video games on the PS5. And the kind of uh, recreation of human beings using uh, you know, this film wasn't animated. This film was uh, uh, mo -cap. motion capture. And and so are the video games and their, their cut scenes and so on. And they're so good that I when people went, oh, you know, the technology is marvelous. No, it wasn't any better than I see on, on video games. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. The first movie I loved, the first movie had a lot of depth to it, a lot of di different levels. If that one was Save the Forest, now this one's Save the Whales. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's where Candy and I, like, okay, so Candy and I were not nearly as apathetic about the movie as you are. But that being said, there is no doubt it was a retread. Like, it was basically the same story. You got your fish out of water. No, no pun intended, I guess, with this one. Um, your fish out of water, learning how to do this. Uh, the oppression is coming. It was beat for beat, very, very, very similar to the original movie um, with a couple little new story ideas. But the, the pacing of it was very similar, I thought, to the first movie. Yeah. But I, I just, uh, I, I, we were, I, I, today I was told Marjorie, I've been very depressed having gone to that because this is what the movie industry has become. Shabby theaters and lackluster films well they're going they're going out in the next few years they won't be around we don't yeah, need they them can afford to fix the seats we don't need <laughs> movie theaters anymore well but the thing is that it they don't have to die but they're letting them die you know <laughs> and and it's it's a shame have you been to movie theater lately Sheck? i haven't been in one when was the last James Bond movie? Five years ago? <laughs> well, the last one was the uh, No Time to Die. Yeah. Well, Three that years, one... maybe four years. Oh, no, no. That know. one, they waited till after COVID yeah. to put it out. Yeah. Well, maybe I watched it on television. Yeah, you probably watched that on television. Uh, but, I mean, I saw this. Uh, but, uh, I mean, the movie theaters are, path It's at least this one, is pathetic. It doesn't pay. And it's an AMC. Movies. Let me put it that way. It's an AMC. So it's part of a major chain. Yeah. You know, they're not that major anymore. They're almost bankrupt. Are they really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's too bad, too. I mean, I, you know, 
I love movies and I love the the idea of the darkened theater and experiencing yeah, something. Yeah, but someone who's 20 years old doesn't care. Out, Alex. I know. That's the point, Shaq, is that the 20-year-old doesn't care and neither does AMC. See, that's the point. AMC knows that everybody's lowered their expectations, so all they have to do is show you the goddamn film and send you on your way, you know? But oh, they also but, know it's going to be on television, one of the services, within yeah. two months or whatever. Yeah. It'll be on Disney+. Plus. There's no question about it. In fact, uh, what do you call it? The Wakanda film is going to be on February 1st on Disney+. Plus. Okay. Yeah. Right. So why are you going to spend 85 bucks for the two of you to go see it in, at a theater? Maverick, which made more money than Avatar has. Uh, top Not anymore. Maverick. No, it's not, not past it. it. No, it it no. I looked at the amounts today. No, it hasn't. Right. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Top Gun is at uh, one point seven billion and Avatar is at one point four or five billion. You know, so no, it, ha it maybe I don't know. Maybe you were looking at something else. But I the one I saw today said that it was second to Maverick right now. Yeah, it, it might still sucked. be. What? <laughs> What'd they you both oh, no. I, 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 I love Top Gun Maverick. Me too, that man. I crazy. love Top Gun. <laughs> Avatar, I can see why people are long drawn out, whatever, but Top Top Gun was phenomenal. Well, I, watched, oh, I, I watched half of Top Gun Maverick with Marjorie, and I got to watch the other half. I liked it. I thought it was fine. Go watch, go watch in the theater on IMAX. It was great. <laughs> really? Totally. Yeah. Yep. Did you have a real IMAX or a full IMAX? Because there uh, are full IMAXs out there now, in which yeah, the screens are smaller. You know. No, this is a pretty full size one. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway, so you know, I mean, I just, I just was. The the movies are movie theaters are in a sour size. Yeah. A, a well, this goes back to when you talk about radio. Radio is gone. You know, and yeah, but you know, it's kind of like it, it, it's kind of like the snake that got his head cut off and doesn't know he's dead yet. <laughs> you know, these are all snakes that had their head cut off, but they don't realize that they don't have the rest of their body. And and uh, uh, I'm sorry, you know, movie theaters are going to be a thing of the past. What they the, are. Oh, look at the cat. Cats always love to be on TV. He yeah. saw his butthole on the way down. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from monetizing. Okay, Alex, I think we're both right. Domestically, Top Gun is still ahead, uh, but all time yeah. on Box Office Mojo, which is the, I think they're the authority, uh, Box Office Mojo has uh, Avatar The Way of Water at number seven all time and Top Gun Mavericks number 12 all time. Well, uh, the fact of the matter is that you're probably looking at domestic grosses because internationally is what I'm looking at. International worldwide is what I'm looking at right now. Domestic, you're right. Top Gun is still ahead uh, yeah. of, of it. But you, you know what? Marjorie's right, though, because no matter what they do at the movie. Oh, theater, oh a Avatar, by the way, Avatar, the first one is the all time grossing film. Right. It's yeah. number one. And number two now is number uh, seven. Yeah, but every year they charge more money for it. So what yeah. is that? Yeah, that's stupid. I hate those. I hate when they say that they made more money than all those other movies. Doesn't mean it's better. Yeah, no, that's but, true. But I, I say Marjorie's right though. That it doesn't matter. They can give you blowjobs in those AMC movie theaters, <laughs> and people they're still going to be useless because people want to see these series, you know, from from all these other you know uh, companies. And all these movies that are coming on on you know, Netflix and all the other ones are so much better that well, you have one one good show every once in a while that pops up in the movie theaters. Well, I, 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 I got to go to the movies. I, I got to go to the movies now. Yeah, That's yeah. No, no. <laughs> more They're about these magical, movies. <laughs> tell me more about these magical theaters in the States that provide blowjobs. Really? What? <laughs> we have that in Canada. But no, no matter what they do, though, it, it's still going to be the home. Everything is catering to the home. You look at all those yeah. all those movie awards, those stupid. Home yeah, it, it, they get they give you blowjobs at the movie theater, and then they say, "Do you want to? You, you want an Avatar souvenir cup to come in?" <laughs> and uh, you're dick I don't know, but I'll take the extra butter. Wait, wait, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what it was. Tell you what it was. We we ordered them online, the tickets, and now when you get online. Guess what? Oh, they're going to charge you a convenience fee. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. But if you don't want the convenience fee, you can pay fifteen ninety five and get a premium Stubbs card. And I'm going, geez, oh my, well, I don't plan on coming back to a movie theater probably again in my lifetime. All right. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to spend the 15 bucks to spend the 395. But I mean, a convenience fee, you should be glad I'm coming. <laughs> it goes back to the blue job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just, uh, I movie theaters are, it's, it's, it's pathetic. It's just pathetic. And, uh, uh, I, you know, I mean, I, the re thing that depressed me is I, I wanted to enjoy this film. I didn't go into it saying, Hey, this is going to suck. I talked to Shecky the other day and I said, the reason I'm going is I want to see the 3d. And this is the first time we're going to a movie theater. We're kind of a little excited about that because we haven't been to one in like almost three years. And we go, and I come out of it, and I'm depressed, just utterly depressed. I don't know why. I shouldn't care, right? Shecky will tell me. So what? You but, know? but the drive-in movies are gone too. I used to go drive-in movies with my my parents in Redo City or Be or the Berlin game nonstop, like every weekend, and those are gone too. So well, you went to you went to the drive-in for the blowjobs. <laughs> but I mean, those are gone, you know, there are a lot of things disappearing. Just you have to live with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I realize that. And I realize I'm an old fart. And uh, uh, all these things that I was used to uh, have gone the way of the dodo. But the, uh, just like me. Uh, but nevertheless, I don't have to be happy with it, you know. Mm -hmm. And 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 I can feel kind of sad for it because. When I was a kid, going to the movies was something. You really wanted to Yeah, get but to going kid. to the movies when you were a kid was a quarter. It was a quarter. Well, no, it, for me, yeah, as a kid, it was a quarter. <laughs> it was 50 cents, I think, for adults, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, okay? Uh, but, you know, I used to go to the kitty matinee. You know, you get for, for 25 cents, you got a, you know, a cartoon and you got a a Western and you got a cereal. Oh my God, for 25 cents, you go at 10 in the morning, come out at four. It was mom's cheapest babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember, I remember a double feature. Okay. Now the yeah, fact, well, I can't, I can't sit through three hours of avatar, but when I was a kid, I went to a double feature of, I think it was uh, around the world in 80 days, which was about four hours. <laughs> and then some other three hour film. And yeah. I came out, I was, you know, I hit the sunlight and I went, ah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I mean, there was a sense of, I mean, Shecky knows uh, from movie palaces, you know, the movie palaces that were terrific. What happened was, is that in the, in the thirties and forties, when did movie palaces first start, Rick? You know? Well, it's the one across the street from you, 1912. 1912? Was, wow. was that one open in 1912? Movie palaces were created because the same reason the churches, big ch churches were created, so that the average person could come someplace that was beautiful and majestic, and it only cost them, you know, 50 cents to get in the door to sit in this palatial situation. Just like if you, you know, if you're a poor person in the middle of Mexico, you could go to this big church and suddenly feel that everybody was welcome under the house of God, you know. So, I mean, it, it's a, it was a come on for people was to have these beautiful, beautiful theaters. Well, that don't exist anymore. And well, it, they're in malls now, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, we, you know, I, I, I just think it's, it's sad because I think it's something that they, it's like they gave up. They just gave up. Alex, it was time. It was time, but not, not on my dime. I, you know, I wanted us to have a nice time yesterday. It was a time out for you and me at the movies. It was a social afternoon or late afternoon. And, and I, I expected more. For my what was time. the total cost for the whole outing? I would say, okay, first of all, the tickets were, what, $42 for the two of us as seniors? Yeah, that's okay. senior. Okay, so $42 for that. Oh, that, oh, I forgot. Then there, of course, was the convenience fee. 
So th that took it up to about 46. All right. So $46. Now it cost me $20 in a, getting a lift to go there. And going home, I think it was another 20 bucks, but we didn't take a lift. We just took a cab. And I don't know why the same were two were the same. But so there's, there's $40 there. Okay. So 40, 46, 80. We're now up to $86, are we? Yeah. And, and throwing $20 worth of popcorn. We spent about $105 to go see a movie that we, you know, going to walk out on. That is crazy. Wow. I know, Jackie, you're going to say I'm being uh, naive when I say there should be a counter at the movie theater where you can get your money back because the movie. <laughs> you know, it's it's a shame to have to go to all that work. To but that's your money. opinion. The movie suck. There are other people probably think it's yeah. wonderful. Well, I mean, Mike Chisholm liked it, you know. I don't. Well, OK, we we watched the whole thing and whoever told you act three was act three was pretty incredible. Act three was it did. It did go somewhere for sure. Um, and it was wonderfully made like the technology, everything that he did was. But I thought it was pretty flat and a remake in many ways. Well, the technology, I don't think was that great. I, I, I see the I, 3D was spectacular to us. The first avatar. Huh? Well, the three days. Yeah, yeah. I I thought the three D was kind of flat. It was it was <laughs> there, but it wasn't. You know. It, also, the problem with three D is now, and perhaps then too, that after you watch the first twenty minutes in three D, it kind of doesn't show yeah. up like three D very much. You know. I, I the old days when I was a kid and I went to three D movies, we had things like House of Wax and. Uh, oh, you had uh, Hitchcock's uh, um, Dial M for Murder, which wasn't shown originally in 3D, but they were all shot with, with two lenses side by side. It was true stereoptic filming. And when you went to the theater, it was pretty profound. In fact, I have a couple of those films here that I play in 3D on my 3D TV set. And they still, to this day, they look pretty damn good. But these things today, I don't know, they just, you know, they, they, to begin with, there's too much work being done to make the thing and do the special effects and everything that they really get lazy and just say, well, we'll just pull 3D out of that. Uh, Cameron usually was better at 3D than anybody because he believed in it explicitly, but he didn't show me anything in this one, you know, and I'm a big fan of 3D. So anyway, anybody see a good movie? Okay, well, that's it. <laughs> Puss in Boots is very good, by the way. Oh, hey, and by the way, just you know, so you I'm know, actually man, looking forward to Puss in Boots showing Puss in Boots is on. very good. Yeah. Yeah, it'll get you. They do a they do a Jiminy Cricket knockoff in it that is just oh, it's so great. It's very entertaining. Well, I, I it looks like it's entertaining. It's doing very good business too. Um, My granddaughter, by the way, the magic is still alive. She saw Puss in Boots with us. She's four, and she begged us to take her again to go see it. She loves the movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it will. Let's see. It's a, it's a uh, who who produced that picture? I think DreamWorks. DreamWorks. Yeah, DreamWorks, which it's is it's a Shrek spinoff. Yeah, I don't know who who distributes that, but whoever does will put it on their site. I'm sure in a month or two. I mean, Wakanda, which was a very big film, uh, is coming on to Disney Plus on February first. You know, and uh, then I'm Black I'm, Adam's I'm, already out. What? Black Adam's already out. Oh, they brought it out the day after it was released. It was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> remember when it used to be like two years till a movie would come out on video and it was a big deal yeah yeah and then it got down to about six months between release and video and now it's down to about three weeks between <laughs> release and and streaming crazy. you know so crazy it, it's great i mean mavericks on uh top gun mavericks everywhere on streaming mm -hmm. you know so i mean uh but um, uh, I just, uh, you know, so, I mean, I can wait. I, I'll i I'll see the end of Avatar eventually. To be honest with you, I actually have a copy of it here, but it's not a good one, so I don't want to watch it. Okay. 
uh, but uh, it, uh, you know, and then uh, like I, I, I think next week I won't be disappointed. But the the HBO starts The Last of Us, which is based on a video game game that I absolutely fell in love with mm-hmm. because it's it's not you know how video games are like either shoot them ups or you jump from one building to another or whatever. Uh, this video game, yeah, you shoot, you kill a lot of um, zombies and bad guys and so on and so forth, but then you get back to plot and it's very heavy on plot. You know, it's about a guy who loses his child uh, when uh, this outbreak first begins, but he was, she wasn't killed by a zombie. She was killed by a cop. You know, and he goes into Great Depression. Now it's 20 years later. And of course, the whole world has just fallen apart. And he is going to be paid to take this girl, this little girl, uh, across the country to Seattle, because it turns out that what she's got is she's immune to the virus. She got bitten. She didn't come become a zombie. And she could be the thing they would make a, a vaccine out of. And um, he hates the girl because he doesn't want to get attached to another girl. And it becomes this love between the girl and the, and the man who finds it starts really feeling very protective of her. And it has this whole plot, which is there are moments when you even cry when something happens because some people get killed who shouldn't be killed. And it, it is just an amazingly constructed game. And that's what they're making into a TV series. And they got the guy who created the game, the the, the plot for the game, to help produce the show. And it's being uh, directed by the guy who did Chernobyl, which was a very good show. I don't know how many of you saw Chernobyl. And I, it promises to be a really terrific show. But The Mandalorian's uh, the title character too, right? Uh, yeah, what's his name? Uh, Pablo, Pablo uh, Hidalgo. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever his name, Pablo Pascal. And so, yeah, or yeah. Uh and and this uh this British actress who uh, plays the girl. It's just you know, it's it was a wonderful game that I absolutely loved. I played it two or three times now just to get watch the plot again. And uh if anybody wants to see it, if you've got YouTube, you can find some places that will have The Last of Us uh and it's just the cut scenes from the show so you can kind of see what the plot is. It's it's really good. Hello, Manny. Hello. <laughs> and how's everything down in the wonderful world of uh, Georgia? It's okay. No, that, that that's a ringing endorsement for uh, <laughs> big game tonight. <laughs> big, game tonight. <laughs> yeah. big game tonight. What game? Yeah. National. The Natty. The Natty. <laughs> that national championship of baseball of uh, football. College football. College yeah, football. College football. So, Go Lord, be, frogs. Oh, sorry. Oh, I know. I, listen, I, I would totally be rooting for them. I mean, I think they're awesome. So, but you know, got to go with U, UGA. My daughter's alma mater. Yeah. yeah. yeah really? Okay. UTA. Yeah. What's that? Is that it? That sounds like <laughs> that sounds like some kind of disease. <laughs> UGA, University of Georgia. University of Georgia. Okay. All right. Why is it called UTA? UGA. Oh, UGA. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. And they're playing who? TCU. Texas TCU. Christian University. Really? Yeah. We're, we're Texas. Really? Well, those guys probably got to where they are because they pray. Right over there. You know, they pray. <laughs> Where, where is it? It's just it's just west of Dallas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. And they ain't got a prayer. No, <laughs> they will win. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who will win? Oh, Georgia. Georgia. Win. Georgia. And they you say the other team, which is a Christian university, doesn't have a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> they have lots of prayers. <laughs> just unanswered ones. <laughs> lots of thoughts and prayers yeah <laughs> yeah well anyway so that was our adventure this week 
you know, we don't have many adventures lately. <laughs> you remember, remember when every, everything was an adventure for me. I could go on the air. What did you do this weekend? And I was, well, let me tell you some of the things we did. Blah, 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 blah. I said this and I saw that. And uh, I didn't even leave the house anymore. So I can't <laughs> have any adventure. And I used to leave the house a lot, but then this thing came along called COVID and I got used to staying indoors. <laughs> But you always stayed indoors, though, didn't you, Rick? Yeah. And also, I think I read today that the COVID rate in New York City is up 30% at the moment. Oh, oh really? I should have worn a mask at the movie theater yesterday. <laughs> they didn't make us wear a mask, by the way. There was no... No, no. Even my doctor's office didn't make us wear a mask. Really? My doctor's does. Yeah. I wore week. one, but they didn't make us. There were lots of people. Well, if you come down with COVID... You know, it, chances are with all the shots I've got in me, it's, it's I'm going to sneeze a little, you know. How how full was the movie theater? It was full. I think it was full. Mine, yeah. mine was yeah. full, too. Yeah. It was, a, it was a weekend. I think if we went a weekday, we probably could, you know, have picked any seat in the theater, but the ones that we, you know, got. So, but it was, uh, you know. But uh, so anyway, uh, otherwise, oh, hey, uh, how about that show? And I hate to bring up politics, but this is <laughs> politics. This was a game show. You know, this was something like Survivor or um, The Voice, maybe. I don't know if it had that kind of. I was going to say, how about that new Speaker of the House from Georgia, Marjorie Taylor <laughs> Greene? <laughs> yeah, she's she's acting like it. Oh man! It, it, well, I mean, the, the it it was just that is such a clusterfuck. <laughs> what went on in the last week? I mean, the the it took more votes than any other vote for Speaker of the House since before the Civil War. Yes, you really got to work on that one, man. Round. Yeah. No, decision. no decision. Huh? What'd you say? Fifteen no rounds, no decision. No decision. Well, didn't he, some people just voted present, right? And that's yeah. what got them over the top. So they didn't have to say, "I voted for this asshole." Asshole. <laughs> it made the news up here. Wasn't there like almost a fist fight? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the article I read up here. And it would have only been better if somebody had gotten knocked out. <laughs> you know, but no, they 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 it, it it almost guy came to blows. Yeah. Well, that kind of stuff is supposed to be worked out between November and January, and these yeah. idiots yeah. didn't. And the other big story is the football player uh, who uh, uh, got hit in the chest. And his heart went out on him. Two times. Uh, two times? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, they, they had doctors there immediately, and they had an ambulance on the field. And they, even, they, even they, the, huh? Oh, even, even the bill. But the first guy who did CPR was on the Bills bench. It was one of the Bills, uh, Bills uh, doctors. So, you know, they had their own medical staff for each football team. Each team and yeah. he was actually the first one that did CPR. So e even before the medical team got there, the ambulance got there, they're already working on them. So. Evidently, what I heard, that that's actually something that really can happen. Just the, the yeah. exact spot that he was oh, hit, yeah. he can just it stop. Actually, it happens in well, baseball. Like ball, ball, yeah. baseball. It, it, it does like happen ball, in ball, baseball. Ball. How much? Yeah, how in the chest with a ball. Yeah. Pitchers. Pitchers. Yeah. And, and people get heart attacks that way, right? Or it stops your heart. Yeah. I did heart recertification this weekend. Uh, well, uh, did you do CPR certification? This yeah, time? I was already I was already scheduled to do it, but it was extremely timely. So, so okay, where is your defibrillator in your office? <laughs> well, there is one in this building, and I actually learned how to use that as well. Besides just you know getting recertified and retraining on the compressions and all that, I actually learned how to use the AED. You know, they actually have defibrillators now that talk to you and tell you, yeah. Hey, yeah. do this, then do this, do this, and do this. Yeah. Push the button. That's they tell so you smart. to stay clear, about to shock, and all that stuff. They tell you exactly what to do. Yeah. Well, so so, so in other words, if I come down to Georgia and I have a heart attack, you're you're the one who can save me. Help him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah you you gotta die. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> she's pretty. Oh. She's adorable. She's adorable. Yeah, yeah. Well, getting big. yeah, we got him like six months ago. He's getting big. But yeah, yeah actually, actually, the NFL is really good. They they say that the, the referees before the game, they go, they have a meeting every game with the medical team to just make sure who's bringing the ambulance in in case there's an issue, who's doing this, who's doing that. So before every game, the referees and umpires actually meet with the medical teams to make sure everything goes in sync in case something happens. And what does that say about football? Uh, it's, a, it's a car crash. Every, every play is a car crash. Yeah. Hey, I would never let my kids play football. Never, 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 never. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, come on. I mean, it's all for the gambling, right, Sheck? <laughs> A lot of it. That's yeah. big business. It, yeah. it is. They have the the guys, like I said the other night, the guys on like CBS before the other those, those pro guys that five guys that talked about the games coming up. They actually have a pick now. They used to just have a pick like who they thought was going to win. Now they actually pick by points. They say, "Oh, I'm going to take Denver by five. And then this one guy says something, and they go through each guy. So yeah. it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, but I mean, it's all about betting. Yeah, you know. Uh, and, uh, but the, the fact is that this guy was, it was amazing that uh, the kind of work that was done on him immediately. I mean, I, I just asked somebody though, once that when they were taking the ambulance and they left the stadium, uh, past the end zone, uh, do they score? <laughs> cool. As the doctor said, he won in life. He won in life. His first thing was he typed in, did we win the game? And he said, Yo, yeah, you won. You won in the game of life. And everybody was said That's that. That's a like, team player. He wakes yeah, up from a coma. Yeah, they, they they never, we win? They're not gonna re, they're not gonna redo that game either, are they? No. No, 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 the no they worked canceled. it out. As yeah. long as they didn't make mess up the NFC, I'm all good. <laughs> the uh, AFC yeah. side. They could do put 20 teams in there. I don't care. Just don't mess up the NFC side, please. I, I wish I knew what you were saying. <laughs> Somebody else knows that you guys <laughs> okay. Uh, so the, the player was well enough to go to a Buffalo hospital today. Oh, oh, really? Oh. They moved them. Fine. Move. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's I'm, still I'm in the sure. hospital, but it's now in his. What's the prognosis? Is he going to be able to play again, or does he even no. want to play again? They well, haven't said. No, well, you know, he didn't. Ha he wasn't. I think in such bad shape that he had a heart attack of his own no. design. Right. He had exactly. a heart attack because of an external force. Right. That's he major, got hit. Alex. Huh? That's major. Yeah, but but, but once you recover from that. Yeah. Would you go back and play? I mean, really? I, I don't know if I would. But, but yeah. I mean, listen, never listen of... you're talking to the guy who never played an athletic sport <laughs> in his life. Were you, pick, were you picked last every time, Alex? Uh, <laughs> they said, no, we won't take him. <laughs> no, I was the water boy on the swimming team. Are you ready for that? <laughs> you know, people on this panel watch football, and we've seen harder hits. Yeah, oh, I mean, God, especially yeah. like in the seventies and eighties uh, with Ronnie Lott and stuff, oh, we've seen oh, yeah. some really hard hits. And this one was just like a normal hit, in it, but it just hit him right it, it, in it, the right it, spot. It, 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 it hit him in just the right spot. Yeah, yeah. Right I, 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 I'd go back if I was. I think it was a freak thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Again, I don't really know him. I don't know if he's such a superstar that they're going to care. He's 23. He's well, I, let me say he this. He a chance to be a superstar. Let yeah. me say this. Let me say this. I mean, let's be honest. This is the one thing he's got in life yeah. that's making yeah. him a lot of money. Yep. You know, this is his profession. And uh, where does he go if he can't play football? You know, I hope he saved his money. Yeah, yeah. Make it he's only been in a couple of years. He hasn't had time to make a lot. Well, of I'm money. also sure he probably uh, maybe has uh, insurance, uh, insurance, and so on that uh, against something like anymore. this. And maybe the league has rules. If you become incapacitated like that, you know, you get a certain amount of money from the league or whatever. Oh yeah, the league's going to hand your money. I want to be there for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm afraid Shecky's right. <laughs> no. Again, again, I have my sports Emmy under false pretenses, and uh, you know, <laughs> it, uh, you know, but I, uh, you know, I just, I, everybody was just, you know, so into this whole guy and everything, you know.
Yeah, because everybody's seen people happen. Get, yeah. yeah, everybody's seen people get injured and you know carted off and in the ambulance. Just the week before, one of the Eagles, same thing, you know, get, you know, taken off. But and he gets the thumbs up sign on his way out of the yes yeah. stadium. Yeah, but you break a tendon or you break a leg or you do yeah. whatever. But you don't. <laughs> your heart doesn't up. stop beating. He died. Yeah, he died. He died. He literally, his heart literally stopped. Yeah. They had to restart his heart. Twice. Yeah. I mean, the way he fell was just like, that was it. You know, yeah. um, it's amazing. I, it's an amazing story. It's an amazing yeah, story. Heard of people die. Thoughts, and, thoughts and prayers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. thoughts and prayers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but also, like, in the summertime, they used to play with full pads and stuff like that. And there have been a couple guys that have died out there. Yeah. But but the but you've never seen it on a Monday night football, and that was a really big game. Even the NFC game. people were watching that game, and to see it right there live, everything happened like that was that's that's where it was a big shock. Did they keep rerunning the play so you could see him fall? No, they've no, they've they really don't. asked people to take it off. Yeah, I I I, I wasn't uh, I, I was saw, in the car. I saw yeah, it because I, 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 I saw it because they actually ran the footage, and then I haven't seen the footage since. No, it was on YouTube for a while, but I don't think it's out there. They, anymore. They've asked people to take it off. So really, yeah. Come on, that's what everybody's waiting for in football, is it? No, we're yeah. not. <laughs> it's not like the car crashes in NASCAR. No. <laughs> well, everybody waits for a car crash in NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's NASCAR. <laughs> You know, that's what the rednecks that, so we're that's only okay. a few years away from rollerball you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know these survival games of one sort or another no oh, the, the the thing you guys were talking about a couple weeks ago i was listening to you when i was driving home from lodi was that death race movie with sylvester Stallone and all that stuff mm -hmm. and when i was a kid i remember going to that movie with my parents and that that's that's where we're going to get to one day. Well, that, that was based on the old joke about, you know, like we'd be driving down the room and going, if we hit that little old lady, that's 30 points. You know, that, that was yeah. the kind of joke you pulled. And so somebody decided to make a movie out of the premise that you get so many points for hitting this person, so many points for hitting that person. But you you look at that movie now, and it's like the Rocky movies where you can see them totally missing each other. You see like the car go off an embankment, and then all of a sudden there's an explosion. It's like the editing is so bad back then. Well, you got to remember that was a Roger Corman film, and they made it for thirty five cents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, plus a plus a convenience fee. Um, <laughs> You know, it, it terrible, a terrible. It was a great movie, though. I love that movie. That was yeah. my favorite. I often say it's my favorite Sylvester Stallone movie. Yeah. Who who would have thought when you saw that 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 guy was going to be a big star? Yeah. You know. But I I I kind of was drawn to him because he reminded me of another actor named Phil Carey, who had somewhat the same appeal as a uh, Sylvester Stallone. It kind of added. He, he made westerns in the fifties, Carrie. I know. I think you're thinking of another Carrie. Uh, I'm talking about Phil Phil Carey. He was like a. He was in. Um, he was in that. Uh, what do you call that Kubrick movie with about the soldiers who are being put on trial because uh, they're you know for for dereliction of duty or whatever in the French army with Kirk Douglas. He was yeah, one but it's of the 19, guys. that's 1957. Yeah, he was one of the guys in that film. Yeah, no, but that's what his career was. He was a B actor. Yeah, he was a B actor. Yeah. But he he always kind of reminded me of, of that actor. Okay. And that's why I was drawn to Sylvester Stallone in that movie. But uh he hasn't done anything good since, but you know. Uh Oh, by the way, Marjorie, you're going to be happy to hear this. Uh, this week's what? episode of Tulsa King is the last one for the season. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> I'm watching it because it's something I could bear and watch with Alex, but it's so bad. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. I think it's a really good show. Well, and then 19, here's what I hate about Paramount Plus, 1983. Uh, 1923, which is really a very good show. Yeah, I like it so far. It's really I, good. Yeah. Uh, uh, what did you say? You said I love that show. I like it better than Yellowstone. Oh, oh I like definitely it. Definitely right. better than Yellowstone. The show that preceded 1883 was pretty damn good too. But this, yeah. for some reason, is just you know the romance between There's the so couple. Much romance. 
Yes. It's very romantic in a lot of ways. And uh, it, it just, it, it, you know, I think it's a very, I think it's his best show. I think it's the best thing this guy Taylor Sheridan has done. And but what they did is they finished last week's episode. They went, OK, we'll be back on February 5th. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fuck you, maybe I won't be. You know? <laughs> I mean, yes, you will. <laughs> it's a new game, yes, man. With streaming, with people who want to get the streaming service for a month, watch it. And they they want to ah, disrupt yeah. that. Yeah, right? yeah. that. You know something? You're absolutely game. right. Because what happens is a lot of people, like, say there's a show that happens on Netflix and they really want to see it. Well, subscribe to Netflix and then they binge it and then they get rid of Netflix, get rid of Netflix yep. and bounce back and forth between services that they want to watch. Well, if you do, well, to begin with, they do it every week. But you're right. After four episodes, which is a month, they said, we'll be back on the 5th. Uh, well, you wait until all the episodes are out, and good, then you get the good. subscription. Yeah. Well, that yes, yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, because they'll all be there to watch. You know. But anyway, so I, 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 we, we both really like that show. You know, that's yeah, great, yeah. terrific show. And uh, um, you know, I mean, I, um, and I'm a sap for a good love story. You know, there's a good love story on that show. Uh, have you seen it, um, Mike? Yeah, we love it. We yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we absolutely I, love it. I think it's it's a show. I think everybody's going to say they truly love. You know, so. <laughs> Yellowstone. I mean, what's happened with that show? <gasps> oh yes, uh, Vernon. I don't think he sees you, Vernon. Oh, I watched. Oh, I watched. Uh, uh, I watched Wednesday. 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 I love it. Why are you? Why have we got to echo. echo back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh no! See? <laughs> don't know, don't know. You say don't know, and then it said don't know. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have, I don't have my, uh, my uh, router, router on. Wow! I'm trying to figure out how that could be happening. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Consider I'm myself. <laughs> I, I gotta go, guys. I gotta go get Adrian from school. So. Oh, okay. Up, Brad. Okay, Dad. Uh, uh, see you later, Dad. See you later. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Need to ask you later why you <laughs> by the way, Brian. What'd you, what'd you say? What'd you say, Mandy? I'll have to message Brian separately and ask him why he laughed at my reel that I posted this weekend. He laughed <laughs> at your what? My reel, my Facebook reel that was I was that the fitness one. Yeah. I think it was cool. I don't know if it was funny, but it Listen, was cool. That's what I'm saying. The person that, like, I wasn't in the reel. I was filming it. And the person that was leading it said, why did somebody laugh at it? <laughs> I don't know. I have to ask him. <laughs> well, you, you should ask him. That would be yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Now, let's try you again, uh, Vernon. Say hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. You had to say it twice. <laughs> I think we I think should we're in a that drive Alex crazy. How about I use sign language? I got it. I, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> Two mics open? I don't know. Why don't you hang up and then call right back in? Let me plug in, Let me my, plug headphones. in my headphones. Yeah. Well, yeah. that might be it. Oh, yeah. I got to do that what? sometimes. Uh, can you hear it now? Okay. Got okay. the headphones, Got the on, headphones now. on now. <laughs> Can you hear it? You're still in a cave, buddy. Can you hear it? Can't hear it. I can't hear it. That's weird. Hang up and call back. And there's nothing I'm doing on this end. But... All right. All right. Let me try that. Let me try that. Yeah, try that. Let's see. What... <laughs> I you know, I I've, I've I've had a lot of things happen when I do shows that I can solve pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, but man, that was definitely on his end. That, that was, was his end. Yeah. That was weird. I mean, that was just like it wasn't even an echo. It was like oh. his Joey's double audio. Yeah. Here we go. Now let's see if we if we have him here. Uh, let's see here. Here comes here comes Vernon. Here he comes. <laughs> mm hmm. Hello, Vernon. Now talk. Isn't the technology wonderful? See, yeah. 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 Go. See you should have said it twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to mess with us. 
what I was saying is, I tried on your recommendation. I tried watching the first episode of Wednesday, and I loved it. Ah. See, Marjorie, yeah. if you well, just I, watch Wednesday, you'd like it. Vernon, I watched it over Vernon. the weekend. I liked Very good. It. Yeah. How many people? How many people here watched Wednesday? Not yet. Okay. How many people hated it? Marjorie, watch uh, one oh, episode. Oh, Andy! Andy! Ooh, Wait a minute, you, no, you I, hate. Hate is a strong word. I just lost interest. I'd look at my phone, look at my <laughs> phone, I just didn't care. I, she was I don't great. Know. Wait a minute, now Marjorie's suddenly agreeing with you. You haven't I seen it. I lost interest much. already, and I haven't seen it. I thought I would like <laughs> it. Oh, like the I girl didn't. who plays Wednesday is a star. Yes. I know. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I would like it, but I, like you said, she's really good. Yeah, yeah, she makes the whole thing. I might try to watch it again. I watched the first episode, and then I was just like, eh. The I hand mean, was great. What? The hand, the thing, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't. I like don't it. either, Mandy. I'm exactly <laughs> with you. I'm not a Adams Family friend, uh, fan, but I thought this story was really well done. Yeah. yeah. And you knew at one point the hand had to give somebody the finger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just knew it. But why did they change it? It used to just where it would come out of the different boxes and then like. Well, down. they changed it because well, this is about 40 years later. <laughs> Technology, yeah. That was the allure of the hand. He was thing. You didn't really know what thing was attached, you know. Well, that's because in the in the in the TV show they weren't capable and they didn't have the they didn't budget. have the money to do anything right. to right. do what they did here, you know. And there wasn't such wasn't a thing as chroma key where you put a, a, a blue a sock on a guy's arm and then have him go like this, you know. But when I watched the TV show, I thought thing was something that was just attached to a hand. It wasn't invisible. I thought there was actually something that was attached um, to a hand, and we just no. couldn't. See. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, <laughs> hasn't it always been a severed hand? How yeah, old were you? No. Wait a minute. How old were you when, when the Adams family came on TV? <laughs> or was this reruns? It was reruns. That oh, I watched. okay. I, I figured as much. Well, yeah. I mean, we watched reruns as a kid, but I'm saying that you know how there was just different boxes in the house? Yeah. In yeah. hand, and he closed the box. You'd always think that it was just some creature. They yeah. called thing. It wasn't just a hand that ran around. Oh, I always thought of oh, it as okay. a hand. <laughs> Pretty sure it was just a hand. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, I guess I missed that. But I jumped into the '90s though. Like to me, a Morticia Adams is Angelica Houston to me. No. Uh, no. Oh no, Carol. Yeah. See, no, that's just. No, yeah. Well, now it's well, who's who? Sorry, guys. Who plays it on the show? Catherine Zeta Jones. Jones. Really? Yeah. Oh, but you know the guy they got to play um Gomez. Uh, Gomez, Gomez is actually if you go back and we'll look at the Adams family cartoons, he yeah. looks more like Gomez than anybody who's ever played Gomez. Yeah. I mean, you say, Oh, it's just why why are they using this fat guy? That was yeah. Gomez in the in the in the cartoons. Yeah. Uh the Adams family cartoons. Which I used to love when I was a kid because my parents subscribed to the New Yorker, and every week there was another Adams fan, another yeah. Charles Adams cartoon, and uh, it was wonderful. Just wonderful. But yeah. I'm glad I'm glad you liked it, Vernon. You know, doesn't doesn't show I have bad taste. I was going <laughs> to watch the second episode, but it was time to come down here for Gabnet. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll enjoy the whole thing. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, we binged it really quick. Yeah. It, it, they're short episodes, too. They're not... No, it's the first one was an hour. Really? Yeah, well, they're long. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Is it, well, I understand why they make these things long, because you can sit at home and turn them on and off when you want to. I'm getting tired of long movies. I mean, yeah. this thing was three hours, Avatar, three hours plus. And you go, why? You could have cut an hour out of that film. You could have Cameron made loves that. Huh? Cameron loves to do that. I don't know why. Well, I mean, the theaters would love it if you made them two hours and, and yeah. people, they could turn the theater over at least one more yeah. time every day. Yeah. You know? Well, maybe that's why the theaters are so grungy because they can only get two screenings a day and it's on a screen. Yeah, you're, you're right. right. You're right. Um, I mean, he's, you know, and you're right. He, also, the reason he's making, you know, the, 
the, the amount of money the picture has made is so high is because ticket prices have gone up. Sure. You know, you can't, it's still, I mean, I would imagine Gone with the Wind is still the most. No, uh, it's Birth of a Nation. Birth of a Nation? Really? The most yeah. watched? Let's forget about dollar value. Let's go buy how many tickets were sold. Yeah. And more how, tickets were sold for Birth of a Nation. Than the, even than Gone with the Wind? Really? Wow, I didn't know that. I oh, know I know it was a very popular movie because any movie about the Ku Klux Klan has got to be popular. <laughs> oh, those guys. <laughs> so according to Box Office Mojo, adjusted all time, adjusted for inflation, Gone with the Wind is number one. Star the original Star Wars is number two. The Sound of Music is number three. Wow. Yeah, but Shecky might be right because it doesn't look like they're going back to the silent era. And the silent era, no. people in the silent era would go to movies three times a week. Yeah. You know? And well, because you didn't have television or radio. No TV. Yeah. Yeah, no TV or anything like that. So I would think maybe Shecky is right. You know? I mean, yeah. it, it seems conceivable because that was a very popular movie. Which, quite frankly, I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to announce that I'm going to remake Gaunt, uh, Birth of a Nation. Okay. Well, yeah. it's the Republican Party, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or the losing party in Brazil. <laughs> I think we just saw it in the House over the weekend. The yeah. losing party in Brazil is acting just like January 6th. Uh, well, what, I called, uh, what I said to Marjorie, that's the foreign language version of January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, they're, yeah. they're running the same playbook, you know. Yeah. Steve Bannon is their is their technical advisor. He's he's been been serious? Serious? Absolutely. No, absolutely. And but but at least this time they got in and pretty much ransacked the place. You know. Their Supreme Court house, uh, Supreme Court building. They did, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's it, it, because it's in Brasilia, which is a city that was created for only one reason. Be the seat of the, is the capital of the country. And I can't remember why they decided to do that, but I think they just, they just want gambling. No, no gambling. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. But anyway, so well, did you see, we have a self-appointed rat catcher in Manhattan now. Rat catcher. <laughs> yeah. A self oh, yeah, yeah, the former Curtis Lewa has announced right, right. now the oh, no. No, wait a minute. Curtis Lewa has announced what? That he's the rat catcher for the five boroughs. Wait a minute. Now, if I remember correctly, he had a thing called the uh the uh he's got 12 cats or 16 cats or something oh, ridiculous in his apartment. So he's gonna send the cats out to do the job. Yeah, he wants to get feral cats to go and clean up. The I'm gonna tell you. I gotta tell We're you right now. Up the feral cats. It, 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 we know about this because guess what they use for catching rats and mice in our apartment building? They go down to the pound and they buy about a half a dozen cats <laughs> and they run them loose in the basement. They're too cheap to get okay. an exterminator. Wow. And, and they, but and and uh, yeah, they don't get an exterminator. They got cats down there. And then what happens is the cats don't get spayed uh, or neutered. And so when springtime comes, the elevators smell of cat sperm, <laughs> which I don't know if you've ever had a cat who did spray around the house, mm -hmm. but it's not the most pleasant of odors. And some of those rats are as big as cats anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And of course, there was Pizza Rat. We love Pizza Rat. Pizza, yeah. <laughs> the all time great New York City rat. But that's what they do in this apartment building. And he, uh, what, you're, turn your light on, Marjorie. Wait a minute. Don't, don't turn your light on. Don't, don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, Echo, turn on bedroom. <laughs> oh, there we go. See? Turn this one off. Uh, oh, okay. So I, I turned it on. See? But anyway. Uh, hey, listen, we've almost run out of time here. This has been this has been a lot of this uh, enjoyable. I just love it. so fast. <laughs> if this was the only show I did all week, I'd be happy. Uh, you Us know, too. 
I, if I did two or three of them a week, I just don't know if they'd be as special. Yeah. Our five-minute yeah. program, Alex. Our five-minute program last week got over 1,300 views. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. We did Short nothing. Attention span theater. Hey, we love Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> we did nothing. We kissed. That We wanted to just, we tongue kissed. Oh. People love the TNA. Uh, it was <laughs> gross. <laughs> no, it's not. Everybody loves to watch something with sex, I guess. You know, <laughs> uh, maybe the next episode, Marjorie and I will be doing it nude. How's that? <laughs> In the park. In the park. <laughs> I, bet if, I, I bet if we did that, and I bet if if YouTube let it go on, uh, 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 we wouldn't have. You know, we'd have a lot of viewers for that. I mean, I'm yeah. going the millions, you know. Yeah. And, hey, listen, uh, that's it. I, I can keep going with this for another hour and still enjoy myself. Uh, Shecky, good having you here, uh, as always. Uh, uh, Mike uh, Chisholm, always nice having you here uh, in your set that you've created for yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice. It's, it's getting nice. better. We got a few more Letterman things coming in too. We're going to have a window case back there and the whole nine yards. Yeah. The Letterman podcast is growing. It's fun. It, it, Thank you, Shecky. You've helped a lot with that. I appreciate it, man. Where can they hear the Letterman podcast? Uh, it is on YouTube and where all fine podcasts are marketed. The Google, the Apple, the Spotify, all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And uh, Charlie, Charlie Wallace. Thank you, Charlie. Always a pleasure. Charlene hasn't said anything today, but it doesn't matter. We like having her here. <laughs> thank you. And, you know, and, and occasionally she does chime in. Scott Boddicker, thank you so much. Love seeing you here. You should come every, you know, join well, us every been, Monday. Been busy. I've been yeah. Busy. Uh, 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 what, fixing up stuff for Jack Bishop? I <laughs> <laughs> Marjorie Miller, thank you so much. What's for dinner? You'll see. That, Monday surprise. That, that means leftovers. That means leftovers. <laughs> Len Lafrisco, great to have you here, Len. Yeah. Uh, Mandy, uh, hope your team wins. Go How dogs. Go dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and and Vernon Nunn, always a pleasure down in Kentucky. Love seeing you. And finally, a guy who hasn't said anything for the whole show. I'm here for emergencies. <laughs> and the reason he doesn't talk during the show is you'd think your alarm at home was going on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Edward Berger, who closes <laughs> off our program every time by saying, That's all, folks. Bye bye, everybody. We'll <laughs> see you later. Thanks, Alex. Bye bye. <laughs>